How you doing? Oh, good. How are you? I'm good. Welcome to the show. I know Thank it's, about, you. What, it's about three in the morning there in uh, Australia. Is that right? It is. <laughs> well, well, we appreciate you uh, being on the show in spite of uh, depriving yourself of sleep. <laughs> That's okay. Thank you very much for having me. No, no problem. You come most recommended by Andre, and we really appreciate your time. And we'll jump right in it, so I won't hold um, too much of your time. But no welcome worries. To the, welcome to the show, and appreciate it. You know, um, I was looking a lot at your bio and your information, and um, quite impressive for someone who's been born in 1992, so young, and you've done some wonderful <laughs> things. Tell us a little bit about how you got started in your career. Well, um, oh, it's a bit of a, a long story, but I'll, I'll try and keep it short. Um, basically, I started singing when I was about 13 years old and I got involved in everything. So musical theatre, um, vocal lessons, choir, things like that. And then when I got out of high school, I got involved in more um, a solo career. So I started writing songs and then that's when I met one of the songwriters on my debut album and he then introduced me to Preston Glass and then they had these 10 songs up their sleeve and uh, one of them happened to be my latest single, Because of You, and um, that's currently out now, which is, which is fantastic. Yeah. Wanting me, I'll be there. Cause the feeling that you give to me takes me to the sky. And when you're being close to me, I feel a natural high. Cause of you, cause of you. It's doing so well on the charts. Um, you actually filmed that. Um, you actually recorded that out here in California, San Diego. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So um, that was at Private Island Audio uh, in Los Angeles. So um, it was such a good experience. It was actually my first time recording there in LA. And I loved, I loved every minute of it. Now, now that's a, such a beautiful song because of you. Um, as a matter of fact, you know, it has, it has like an old school sound to it but it tells such a wonderful story. Is that something that um, you wrote, uh, inspired you, or what's the story behind that song? Yeah, so it's actually a song written by uh, Joe Mandica and Preston Glass. And Preston's work with oh, people like Whitney Houston, Aretha Franklin, Lionel Aretha Richie. Franklin and Lionel Richie. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, it. So um, this, yeah, so the song came about really on their behalf and then they were looking for a vocalist and um, – that's when I came along and they loved the take I put on it and asked me if I, if I wanted to sing the song along with many others. And I, I just couldn't resist. I knew the first time I heard it, that it was a song I've wanted to sing desperately. <laughs> oh, it's, it sounds absolutely beautiful. And the thing about it is yeah. that um, you're winning fans, not only in the newer generation, but in the older generation, because the style fits. It's like a cross generational song. Mm, uh, yes. Know. And, and my audience, um, they love it as well. And it's also trending now. That's, is, is it a, what, where is it at the billboards now? What number is it currently at the billboards? Oh, well, we're still working on the billboards at the moment. <laughs> mm -hmm. But we're working our way, working our way definitely there. Oh, wow. Now, um, in Australia, um, that's currently where you were born and raised. So tell us where you, where you were yes. born and raised and how you wound up in Australia. So I was... Um, born in Melbourne and I still actually live here and that's in Australia. So it's right down the bottom end of, of Australia there. And um, yeah, I've, been, I've honestly been here since and um, only really got traveling to, to the States a few years back when, when all of this started coming about. <laughs> now, now, when it comes yeah. to music, um, what is it that you, that you listen to? Are you listening to all sorts of music? Are you more on the current <laughs> side? What, what kind of music gets you inspired the most to write and that you enjoy the most? Oh, yeah. Look, I, I'm, I'm definitely the first one that you mentioned. So I like to listen to everything. So people from uh, Kate Bush, Chris Isaac, The Carpenters to 
you know, Shania Twain, Taylor Swift, Whitney Houston. Um, so the the variety there is just so wide and so broad because I was, I was brought up with all different types of music. So um, I never really stuck to, to one artist or, or one genre and I think that's the beauty of um, the songs on my debut album as well, Life Lessons, is that there's a lot of different, uh, songs out there for everyone and and cause of you is definitely an example of that yeah, absolutely and you know the thing that's funny it's a big big variance between chris isaac and the carpenters i grew up listening to the yes. carpenters. I absolutely love the carpenters uh karen carpenter has one of the most beautiful voices oh, and definitely. you know and really she's underappreciated now what in your sound what do people compare you to when you sing do you have someone that they compare you to Oh, that's a good question. Um, oh, actually, I've had um, a fair few people say Olivia Newton-John uh -huh. and Linda Ronstad and Patsy Cline. So there you go. <laughs> you know, you, you know, talking but, to you, Angela, yeah. you, you, I mean, Stephanie, you sound so much like an old soul when you start talking about Linda Ronstad. A lot of people don't know who Linda Ronstad or Olivia Newton-John is from the younger yeah. side. And for you only to yeah. be, what, 27 years old, I think this cue card is older than you. But it's amazing <laughs> that you know, you know so much about music and you're so inspired by it. Um, I was looking at, uh, you, also play, you. you also play a lot of instruments. What, what's some of the instruments that mm. you play? Um, so my main, my main type of instrument is definitely the acoustic guitar. Um, it's almost like my third, my third arm really. So I write a lot of my songs on there. And also when I'm out and about performing at my solo shows, you'll pretty much find that I do play the guitar. Um, and I delve into some basic piano as well here and there, but not, but not too much. Oh, wow. Now, um, yeah. you plan? are you planning on doing a tour um, in the States as well, um, as well as abroad? Oh, look, I would absolutely love to, just with the, obviously with the current situation, it's, it's very difficult, but hopefully when all the craziness is over, then I can hopefully and definitely pop one over and say hi to you guys and see what, see what we can do. That'd be awesome. And ladies and gentlemen, for those who are just watching the Sherrod Show, we are st talking to the lovely Stephan, uh, Stephanie Angelina, all the way in Australia. She's depriving herself of sleep just to be on the Sherrod Show. <laughs> And we really appreciate her. And when we come back, we're going to have more with Stephanie right after this. They say, oh, my God, I see the way you shine. Take your hand, my dear, and place them both in mine. You know you stopped me dead when I was passing by. Now I beg to see you dance just one more time. Ooh, I see you, see you, see you every time. We're back. Sorry about the disconnect. Oh, that's okay. It happens. Okay, so welcome back to the show. And, um, Correct. and ladies and gentlemen, we are talking to Stephanie Angelini, um, a recording artist with a hit record um, and album called Cause of You. She's just trending and doing very, very well. And Thank we're really, you. We're really proud of you. Now, um, what about the music industry really drives you so much to um, write and continue to perform? What is it that really inspires you? Oh, um, oh, look, I think just to, just to keep, just to, keep, I think just to keep authentic really at, at the end of the day, like, I mean, I've, I've said this in another interview recently oh. that the industry is really competitive. Mm -hmm. So if you stick to what you believe in and you stick to what you know, I think you can really conquer all and you can make it um people are always going to say no 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 but um i abide by this one every no leads to an e a yes so um that, that i think for for me that's what helps me keep going in in the industry is is that constant kind of willingness to, to keep going even though it's tough well yeah it's a very tough industry but you know you being so talented I'm sure that really carries you through those tough days. Thank um, you. I try. <laughs> um, 
you know, especially um, in this brutal industry. Because, see, you know, one thing that's interesting, um, I would say, and I tell me if you agree with this, Stephanie, is that mm -hmm. a lot of times you hear great music out here or you hear artists out here, and a lot of them aren't that talented. The music is maybe written well, um, but mm -hmm. a lot of them just aren't naturally talented because a lot of people just really can't sing. Um, they just, you know, can do all the studio work and all that. But I want to come back to the days where people can do live performances and really you can show how well they can sing. Now, is that something yeah. that you notice um, in the industry or is that just me talking? Um, oh, look, I think, I think you definitely have, have, have your valid points there. Um, again, I think it honestly just depends on what an artist wants to portray. So, for example, if someone wants to go really poppy with a bit of a remix they might put a little bit more um auto tune on their voice or um put a special effect and then you have other artists that really want that raw crisp sound and so they don't do any any of that so um yeah i think there are, there are definitely points there but I, I also think that they do things for a reason too which may cater towards different audiences and and different genres and styles of music as well mm -hmm. That's excellent. You know, and it's, it's amazing because, um, you know, when it comes to music, um, typically like record producers and, and um, um, uh, artists, people, many times when someone brings a sample, like artists, uh, like producers always get people coming to them, dropping off tape and CDs. You have to hear this. You have to hear this. And a lot of times mm. they, they always say they know if the song is going to be a hit after about 10 seconds of listening to it. You know, when yes. I listen to A Cause of You, I knew it was going to be a hit song in 10 seconds. When I heard that, I said, wow, this girl, it got me. It threw me right in. And I thought I was listening to something from the 70s or 80s. Because oh, wow. That's fantastic. Sound. So when, I, so when, I'm, when um, I reached out to Andre and I said, this girl, she can sing. She got a hit. Let me have her on the show. So that was one. <laughs> and voila. So congratulations. Oh, there you go. Thank you so much. Well, I know myself and my team, we're so proud of it. And um, I, I know it's doing super well as well on the compilation album, uh, Raindrops Loves Holidays, Volume 2, because that's currently on there as well. And that's distributed by Universal Music, so the, so the big guns. So we're all, we're all trying our best at the moment. <laughs> please, let me know Pushing it along. In, please let me know when you are in town, because I would love to, um, once we get past the virus and all this stuff, to be able to have mm. you as a guest on the show, even live on location at one of your concerts, I would love to do that. Uh, just so oh, you want. love it. Beautiful. We'll tee it up with Andre. <laughs> that, that'd be wonderful. Now, my uh, last question to you, um, I need you to inspire my audience. So tell us some inspiring yes. words that would help somebody along to help them to possibly um, achieve the success that you have out there. What kind of aspiration would you be able yeah. to you know, start now? Oh, look, um, just keep going, keep going. I've literally done shows where I've been nearly in tears before before going on stage just because, you know, maybe I wasn't feeling it or I wasn't feeling so confident or I didn't have any faith in what I was doing because, you know, I was getting no, no, no's. Um, <laughs> so which then brings me to that quote that I love so much. Just keep pursuing, pursuing what you love. Keep to what you're passionate about, whether it's it's your writing, whether it's your vocals and you're trying to find a songwriter or a producer to help you along, just keep going because I tell you what, there will come a day where that, that sun will literally shine through and you will just keep going for it and keep oh. striving for it and you'll just shine. Well, we love it. I love it, Stephanie, so much. For um, those who would like to uh, follow you and see what city you're going to be in next or country, where would they be able to keep up with you? Mm -hmm. Um, so they can definitely connect with myself on social media. So Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, all my music is also on all online streaming platforms. So places like iTunes, Spotify, uh, Pandora, or you can just uh, click on my website, stephanieangelini.com, and all the information will be there about where I'll be performing. Oh, we so appreciate you having you on the show, Stephanie. Um, you're so wonderful. Best of luck to you. And we hope to have you in a very near episode of the Sherrard Show coming soon. Get some sleep. Right. Thank you so much, Sherrard. I'll see you soon. Take care now. Bye.